Company Central. In the not too distant future, next Sunday, AD, there was a guy named Joel, not too different from you or me. He worked at his Monic Institute, just another face in a red jumpsuit. He did a good job cleaning up the place, but his boss didn't like him, so they shot him in the space. Under the spotlight to the great Crowdini! Huzzah! Lord of Unseen Forces, robotic ruler of the misty underworld! And master of escape! Yes! Tonight, in my most daring and death-defying dance with doom, I will escape from these cruel and unforgiving and somehow pleasurable chains of my in 15 seconds. Now, Joel, come here and light the cannon pointed at my head. Yeah. Don't worry, folks, he knows what he's doing. He's the great Crowdini! I saw Teller do this. And now! Oh, uh, Joel, uh, the, did you get that key? Uh, the key is kind of central to this piece. Oh, no. uh, Ooh. Oh, wow. Schmaker. I bet you're wondering how I got out of that one. That's simple, really. Chewed my head off just as the cannon was about to blow. <laughs> Neat, huh? I think I'm ready to headline. Uh, don't try this at home, folks. Oh, the great scout at Cat House Thursday are calling. In his latest memo, Mr. Katzenberg said that he would not tell Frank! <laughs> Quit sitting around reading variety when you should be working. But boss, check it out. The last Boy Scout has dropped out of the top five. Many of us in the industry have taken note of its lackluster domestic performance. I mean, look, if Bruce Willis's career continues its downward slide, it could be a setback to the forces of evil everywhere. You're right, Frank. This is cause for concern. Remember the return of Bruno. <sighs> well, let's skate on to this week's invention exchange. Get on with it, Joel. First came the instant camera, then came the instant cash machine. I say, do what I do. Put them together, and now you can put anybody's kisser on any U.S. currency. Uh, Gypsy, say Richard Basehart. Richard Basehart. <laughs> See, it's called the Dollaroid. Check it out. And now we've got a special presentation by Sir Crow T. Robot and Dame Tom Servo on some of the merits of the dollar right Thank you. <clears throat> uh, excuse me, Mrs. Retail Lady Person. Uh, I yes? Would like, uh, I would like to purchase one of your fine products using this $5 bill. Um, well, sir, if I'm going to take that $5 bill, I'm going to need some proper identification. Uh, uh, no problem. My picture is right here on the bill, so you can cash my fiver with a clear conscience. Oh, how, oh, how convenient. Oh. Now all I have to do... Wait, wait a minute. Joel, get in here. Huh? What's going on? You don't need identification for cash money. This whole concept is absurd. Here's a little hush money. Don't tell your mother hush, I gave hush you money. this. Wait, wait. This money has my picture on it. It's totally worthless. You could never use money like this. What is this, some kind of joke? Am I some kind of clown? Do I amuse you in some fashion? What do you think, it's sir? absurd. If the... Your invention is absurd. It's ridiculous. It makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. I love it. Keep up the good work. <laughs> oh, shut up, Frank. Well, Marriott Hartley, our invention exchange this week deals with the concept of facial tissue. We've come up with tissue that has faces. That's right. Think right-wing columnist Pat Buchanan is no one to sneeze at? Well, now you can. 
<laughs> Frank's chosen the Kleenex line of presidential candidates for 92, while I've relied on the Star Search comedy competition runners-up series. For instance, there's Sinbad. <laughs> Women be different than men. That's <laughs> it. Yeah. Or there's Rick Dukeman. Uh, I hate Chekhov. Let's see. And what collection would be complete without ten-time winner Gigi Guy? I lost to a damn ventriloquist. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm having a hard time sneezing into this thing. I mean, maybe Pat Buchanan really is no one to sneeze at. He's even more evil than Bruce Willis. Oh, uh, some uh, fresh pepper, uh, Frank? Uh, 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 no, Frank sneezes are in sunscreen. Frank, no! Uh, 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 uh. Your experiment this week, Joel, is called Space Travelers. It's actually marooned with the Film Ventures International treatment, a new credit sequence, in other words, and the presence of Gregory Peck or Gene Hackman does not diminish the pain in any way. Frank, push the... No, Frank, no! Absolutely ridiculous. You see the whole... Hey, it's the Big Blue Marble, brought to you by the Unpainted Place. Ooh, Produced by me, Al Frankovich. <laughs> We're in it now, up to our necks. Pecs. Oh, Richard Craner. Hey, Lukey from the Real McCoy's. Hey, damn it, Lukey. <laughs> ah, the one our man is chasing me. I need a drink. Oh, James Franciscus, wasn't he in the Finder of Lost Loves? Oh, no, that's Tony Franciosa, but this oh. is star-studded, isn't it? Wow. Oh, Gene Hackman, he's good in anything he mm -hmm. does, really. He's really good. All space travelers were able to book any vacation. Oh, I get it. It's a cable access version of Maroon. Yeah. Marriott Hartley, she's got two navels, you know. No. I wonder if she's going to be in Genesis 2, the next generation. <laughs> oh, Never been in a film. Vince. Oh. oh, it could be worse. Vince Van Patten could have been in this. Oh, you know, when this was made, Vince was just a gleam on his father's forehead. Mm -hmm. yeah. Lyle Wheeler from the production design team of Wheeler and Woolsey. Oh. And Walter Big Train Thompson. Like father, like son, think about it, won't you? Frightening, isn't it? Boy, I could go some for some Fap Jacks drizzled with butter right about now. Mm, Fap Jacks. Oh. Mayo Simon, is he related to Lillian Hellman? Oh, Lillian Hellman sandwich spread has alcohol and cigarette butts in it. Come to MJ Frankovich's for imported Polish sausages. John, you've done better. I'll see. John Tesh at the keyboards. So, let the carnage begin. <laughs> Here at Phillips Petroleum, we've found ways to replace the environment. Take, for example, these plastic self-cleaning ducks. Here are trees being assembled. Workers replace clouds. All of the tanks in all three stages with gaseous as the pressurization builds up, it's being monitored. This right used to be a wetland preserve in North Dakota. Well, we've shellacted well. and covered it with an acrylic polymer. Flight, you can figure for the terminal count. Roger, flight, we are go. Okay, let's check status with the terminal count. Do you think this is one of those CB movies from the 70s? Nope. Oh, pink pattern, this with a rubber duck. I'm gonna put the hammer down. Quiet, Ratchet Jaw. Go, all the way. Sony, panel three, tape recorder forward. Switch to forward. Verify gray box. Uh, Roger, we have wow, is this cool! Mm -hmm. Roger, an automatic sequence start on my mark. Roger, make sure you don't put it in reverse. All right, Jim, stand by your panel 325, folks. Roger, fuel free pressure initiated. Roger, fuel. This one's gonna light on your toes. You know, Mark and Roger do a good job down at the plant. Oh, yeah. Oh, they, do. they do a super job. Uh, it's prepay after that, sir. Uh, uh, lift the handle, Fred. Lift the handle. Looks like they're cutting off the nose cone despite the rocket. Loud clear, Dick. 
All right, CMP on panel two, disky verify program two. We're go flight. Right. All right, flight guys, why don't you solve your little problems and light this candle? Right, light this candle. Flight speed. Sounds like they can't get their VCR programmed either. RTC, you got everybody configured for command. That's affirmative. Internal power and go. Oh, it's the three stooges from It's a Mad, 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 Mad World. Stand by for the 10 second count. Five minutes. Okay, everybody gone potty? We know what's coming, don't we? Uh, I meant to say uh, clear the launch pad. Sorry. <laughs> Watch out for the backdraft. Hey, and it takes off too. Wow. Wait, that's the ST Saturn V. That's a level five, you know. Oh yeah, tumble recovery. Yeah. Koyanis Godzilla. You know this movie works because we care about the characters. Yeah, yep. I do. Charles Rocket. Oh. I you know eight million dollar film and they're still using stock footage. <laughs> Before this decade is out, we will make a boring movie called Space Travelers. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. Pretty. Hey, the residents. Are you? Booster, okay? Go flight. Go flight. Well, actually, this is more like the uh, level of the Mars Snooper, level three. Yeah, it takes three Ds. Yeah, oh, you're thinking of the Cherokee, dude. That had the trump tumble oh, yeah. recovery. Oops, that was me, sorry. Oh, come on. Seen it. Seen it, yeah. yeah. Taped it. A few times. I thought I told you to check that trailer hitch. <laughs> Three boys in plastic bubbles. Yeah, but look at that acting. Hackman is always good. He's good. Uh, take it out of first, will ya? There you go. Thank you. Looks like Pac-Man. Yeah. <laughs> Joel, what is the big deal? It's three men in space wearing helmets that afford them a certain amount of protection. Well, I think the point they've established so far is that they're going into space. Uh, I think oh. that's probably established. Maybe we'll need another ten minutes or so to make it clear. I've seen that, too. Hope they didn't need that. Spacecraft systems are go. Spacecraft systems are go. All spacecraft systems are go. So are all spacecraft systems go? I'm getting that idea. We have Seco. Roger, Seco. Seco on the ship? Buck a wow. Sitting around the lake, mountains come out of the sky and doom, doom. Say no to yes. Hey, look, they're wearing jack straps on their heads. <laughs> Go feet. <laughs> hey, check it out. Space capsule's got a red butt. <laughs> Papa Manic pops the dice. I am Iron Man. Yeah, you can see Aaron Spelling's house from here. Well, he worked for Aaron Spelling when he starred on Finder of Lost Love. No, 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 that was Tony Francioso. Hey, it looks like a fine day down there. Hey. I can see all the way from Gibraltar to Greece. I'm a highly trained professional, and it's still cool. Coming up on the should be in our first sunset in a couple of minutes. Check it out, I'm giving Houston the finger. <laughs> Loss of signal with Canary. Oh, oh. You know, he's always oh. good, isn't he? Yes. Time to activate TV transmission. No TV till you do your homework. We remote to Houston through Araya bus. Araya 1, this is Iron Man. How do you copy, over? On a Xerox machine, you? Loud and clear, I'll be. I read you the same. On my mark, TV transmission from camera A. Mark. Hey, it looks like value Smile. vision. We're here with Jover. How are you getting this? Uh, a little snowy, Iron Man, a little snowy. There we go. Let's do it. There we go. Ah, this little hairy o or the dog that bit me. Clear mm. down, good picture. Well, say something, Ted. Are we beautiful? Do you think we're sexy? Iron Man, this is Houston. Uh, I'm sorry, I was watching Gidget. Could you, Can you repeat good. that last All remark? Three of you. This material was obtained during their first week in space. Neither. I'm presenting it as a point of reference. 
Here's Exhibit A. Lloyd Stone. <laughs> he's a blast, that dude. We he's got great. this day before yesterday. Oh, look at this idiot. Poor bastard thinks he's a spaceman. Mm. <laughs> It demonstrates a serious decline in the ability to perform even simple manual tasks. Like grinding coffee, as we see here. Just over five months of the mission have been completed satisfactorily. We wonder if it remains desirable to continue for the full seven months originally planned. Look here, this is where he wets him. Sad, really. Oh, boy. What are your parameters, Courtney? Well, let's just say I cover e the waterfront. Ooh. Right in rhythm. EEG. EEG, Marshall. He's not sleeping. Now, the trend shows definite fatigue. Is he still losing weight? Another Jenny Craig success story. Hey. The quality of the solar spectral film has been very poor. Well, you're not going to see any more. Why not? Gets pretty weird after this. <laughs> Take a look at this. It'll make you sweat. Oh, boy. Millions of dollars spent on this space program, and no one thought of camera straps. It's the little things, really. Tired and he's making mistakes. You want to try living in a tin can for five months? Hey, I lived in an efficiency in Manhattan, you know. We got this yesterday. They're printing on a production of Our Town. Oh, Sad, God. really. Um, uh, further degradation of the RCS system. We've lost the backup coolant loop and the yaw thruster. Oops. Man, Hackman's uh, really good in this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, the wash machine is out. I was doing some preventative maintenance on it, and I guess I shorted it out. I uh, also discovered some computation errors in the huh? uh, telescope settings. I guess that would account for the poor quality in the uh, solar spectrum. What? 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 Mm. I don't know. Oh. Um, oh. oh. And I broke some other stuff, too. And I made this thing out of clay. I think it's a duck. I've, uh, I fixed the uh, razor. I'll send you a bill for that. <laughs> so, uh, we go back to shaving again now. And, uh, I resent that. I'm sleeping better. He's high. I guess we're all getting our second wind. Uh, yeah, we can smell it down here. <laughs> and if the hardware holds up, I guess we can make it right to the end. I know I can. I can. Right they need pain, they need excedrin. Bring them down. Yes, sir. Honey, the meeting's over. You're all right. We're going to bring them down. You're Spoiler. always right. Everyone on the net mission control. Well, you know, Gene Hackman's even good at this mm -hmm. season. Yeah, and James Franciscan's even better in this than he was in Finder Lost Live. Bro, that was oh. Tony Franciosa. Ah, crap. Music by Tangerine Dream. Sounds like Tomita. I don't know, it kind of sounds like that Irish Chanteuse Enya. No, it sounds like the last chord in a day in the life only they slowed it way down. It's a little like Wendy, Carlos, so... This is Mission Control, Houston. The crew of Iron Man 1 has closed down the S-4B space laboratory in which they have worked, lived, slept, and it's eaten like golf for the last tournament. five months. Their Apollo spacecraft has separated from the lab, and at this time, the automatic sequence of retrofire is about to begin. Ten, Ten nine... Eight, Call in now seven, with your pledge, and you'll get this great tote five, bag. Four, three. <laughs> Thanks, two, frickin' frack. <laughs> Retro fire. Ring, ring. The spacecraft should be starting its descent across Australia toward the splash point in the Pacific, some uh, 400 miles south of Midway Jeez, Island. Jesus, patronizing. We're waiting now for confirmation of retrofire. Standing by for contact. Iron Man One, Iron Man One. This Iron is Man Houston, one. Capcom. Do you read? Punky Brewster's dad, the early years. Iron yes. Man 1, Iron Man 1, this is Houston, Capcom, do you read? Crummy Madonna microphones. After five months in orbit, a mission that has been termed a successful prelude to the long-term space voyages that someday will so, be... So, uh, how come routine. Forehead here gets all the dialogue? Through it, Buzz Lloyd and Clayton Stone should be on their fiery way home. Ah, don't the... say fiery. Iron Man 1, Iron <laughs> Man 1, this is Houston, Capcom, do you read? Come on, answer so I can make happy Iron hour. Man one. Iron Man 1, this is Houston. Capcom, do you read? Iron Man 1, Iron Man 1, this is Houston. Some monkey Capcom. bars. Hmm. Do you read? Now come along with us as we take a visual Iron tour Man of the radio one. signal. Houston, you see, radio Capcom. is an electric Capcom. impulse that travels through. <gasps> what? 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 Iron Man what? One. Iron Man it's okay. Are they calling us? Go ahead, Houston. Hey, yo, bum, how's it riding? We have negative retrofire. Oh! 
We finally got a plot point, guys. Say again, Iron Man. Negative. No burns. <laughs> Bailey, kill it. Ooh. Iron Man, wait one. What's wrong, Dick? What'd you call me? Oh, no. Ecom, GNC. How does the data look? It looks it fabulous. Nice retro fire. Iron Man, fly. Would you check your power and circuit breakers and also your Delta V thrust manual A and B switches? Yet any Roger. Else? Glenn, would you punch up channel six? And could you punch me in the gut? Ooh. All parameters are normal. <laughs> Why in the hell doesn't it fire? Yes, sir. Another in trouble. Iron Man. Go, Iron Man. Oh, here are your script changes, Mr. Peck. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Iron Man. We're affirming a new target. Suggest you try manual re-entry on your next pass. Roger. Understand manual re-entry using RCS backup system. Negative, Jim. Negative. Are you positive? We suggest you use the primary system. Hmm? Well, that is smart. Gee, I guess that's why we're up here. Thing didn't work. Houston. We prefer using the backup thrusters. No, 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 no. I'm afraid you don't have any backup thrusters. <sighs> Say again? I said nice oh, weather we're again. having. <laughs> uh, now, what about the lab? There's oxygen in the lab. Houston, do we have enough fuel to redock with the lab? Uh, here, say this right there. Negative, Iron Man, negative. Good. Good. Well, what do you propose, Ted? You have insufficient RCS fuel. You're going to have to try retrofire. Well, it makes Your sense. Everything's is. retro these days. Yep. So you could, yep. uh, smart boys think your automatic control system is out, but oh, you'll be able to get boys. ignition from your primary engine on manual command. Now remember, pump it first, but don't flood it. Let's kick the box, Jimmy. You copy, Iron Man. Now your jockstrap will double yeah. as a flotation copy. device. Mr. Keith, DAO. Yeah, no announcement. I think we should say something, sir. We've been off the air now for almost All right. Just keep it trivial. Keep it routine. We may not have a problem. Yes, sir. This is Mission Control Houston. We're all gonna die! Mine man one of a malfunctioning switch that has prevented retrofire on their last orbit. Shall bypass the switch. Oh, the high the tech my butt. They don't even have touch tone phones. Wow. If I'm not mistaken, that's Newt Gingrich. Mm -hmm. Cannon in Houston. Hmm. Well, unfreeze the dead, will you? Hmm? Are you ready now? The Open primary wide. engine did not fire on the first pass. The secondary thrusters are out. Repeat. The party out. of the first part, who in this part shall be known as... If baby doesn't fire this time, they're not coming back. Gimbal motors, mm. pitch two and yaw two, start on. Pitch two and yaw two, start on. One minute to burn. One minute to burn, Roger. Translation, hand controller, neutral. Neutral. Hand controller, neutral. Hand controller, power, both. Career to off. On. Direct oh. RCS, on. Direct RCS. Delta V thrust, A and B normal. A and B normal. That's a Yahtzee. 30 seconds, to burn. Oh. 30 seconds, Roger. Hand controllers armed. You know, it's neat how they all have their own little tasks, you know. Hand so control creative. Armed. Hand controllers are armed. EMS Delta V auto. Word up. Delta V auto. 15 seconds to burn. Roger, 15 seconds. I'll edge. All right, you bastard. Fire, fire, hey. fire. Whoa, easy, and easy. Get him something. Nine, eight, eight, seven. seven. Oh, we better go, guys. Uh, four, oh, no, three, three, two, two one. Retrofire. You know, the American space race had contributed a whole lot more than just a lot of grainy black and white photos to the great American way. Yes, science, technology, and processed foods were advanced beyond the reckoning of our puny little minds. It has been said that one cannot swing one's dead cat without hitting an item that has been advanced by the space program. We begin. <clears throat> the vitamin pill, a space race advancement. Frozen dough. Thank you, NASA. The tie clip. Keep it going now. The coffee table. Spats. Chia technology. Tin whistles. The nylon windbreaker. Nogahide. Swirled yogurt. Essential for space flight. Battered fish sticks. The collapsible top hat. The thing maker. Helicopters, planes, and ordinary table salt. Scooby-Doo and Scrappy-Doo. Bradford, Winton, and Chicken Marsalis. The meatball. 100% space technology. The styrofoam peanut, the circus peanut, and the woozle whose name was peanut. The bendy straw. Jim Mitchum. The basset hound. Scategories. Policewoman, the TV show. Margarine. You see, the space race Crack. has contributed Kimbalusi, so much to our life that we really John couldn't Conley, even understand it all. All we know is that it's friendly and it's good.
good for us, and we need it really, really a lot. So open your hearts and open your wallets and give. Think about it, won't you? Thank you. White corpuscles, the Swedish steam cooker. Think for you. What about mumbly peg? Kate Bush, beef pinwheels, hollow dents. Cereal cubes. Oh, what? Quisps. Soup. With some tenderloin and grenade sauce. Breast implant. Jim, why are we just lying here waiting, huh? We're ground to analyze the entire telemetry. So some smart ass engineer can tell us we're out of luck? So some smart ass engineer can tell us we're out of luck? We'll mm -hmm. check the engine ourselves. I think one of the fuel valves is frozen. Oh, come on, get real! Ground could tell that. Maybe we took a meteor strike. Maybe something hung up on separation. Ew, this is Bob's filth. Oh. Get your chicken while it's hot. I'll have a little. What are you looking at, Stoney? Mm, smog coming in over L.A. Oh. It'll burn off by noon. Oh, that disturbance in the intertropical conversion zone. Somebody's gonna have a hurricane. <gasps> subplot, subplot, subplot. subplot. Oh, it's just northeast of Cuba. They call it Mariah. The rain is Tess, nice I believe. Clouds. And, uh, fires Peter, mm -hmm. Go to east-west slope. Cyclonic circulation just beginning, and go she's going to be a me. big beast. Oh, oh, don't tease me. You're making me hot. Alma. Oh, yes. First of the season. Oh, baby. Look. Just eat the chicken. Don't play with your food. Now you're bugging me. Open it. Would you just eat your chicken, please? Uh, this we call for any of you guys? And we're attempting to construct a configuration which will reproduce the conditions that prevented ignition. David Three, Doyle, the early years. Two, one. Thunderbirds are go! I say, apparently, we have failed to prevent ignition, but I'll we'll say. keep working on it. Fire him. I will be back in McKenna's goal. <laughs> 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 waiting for our recommendations. <laughs> All the to be issued at the conclusion of this meeting. Every effort is being made to discover and correct the spacecraft malfunction. There's a guy named Earl working on it. Plans designed to meet such emergencies. Only I hate my job. Two, a report to be issued Tuesday morning by the director of manned space flight, emphasizing the high degree of safety. Uh, I could really go for a scotch. Thus far, the accident will be compared to the failure of an experimental aircraft. Mm, nice, good analogy. We noted that in the development of such aircraft, a 10 percent How come he gets to sit in the big chair? Acceptable. Now, Wednesday morning, if necessary. 3 a.m. The president will issue an appropriate message. Then he'll the vomit on some Japanese people. Emphasizing the yeah, courage and determination of the crew. The middle you know, would be lost. wish that the program be continued without pause. Oh, nuts. Now I've lost my place. Discussion? Excuse me. Yeah, I have something. Yes, you hurt me earlier. I want to talk about a rescue mission. In my underwear. Ooh. I'm speaking for the pilots and some of the Air Force boys. For the laughter, for the love, for the boys. Propose launching a rescue craft using one of their boosters. He is plucky. He is. Dougherty, you haven't been listening. Courtney, will you repeat that trend data on oxygen consumption in the spacecraft? As of now, they're going to live another 42 hours, hmm. plus or minus 2%. No, well, man, am I hungover. 10.30, Monday night. There's a launch window for a shot at 8.48, Monday night. I no, don't wanna. An Air no. Force Titan 3C core left Denver for the Cape one hour ago. Oh, actually, it was already in the pipe. And also the XRV lifting body from Edwards. I can you get the Titan and an XRV on the pad, ready to go in 42 hours. Some of our boys think they could. A non-man rated booster and a craft that's never flown. Mm -hmm. Oh, it'll fly, all right. I like and it. Dowdy here has all the qualifications. No, 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 no. Proposal is rejected. Anything else? Well, we could have a fundraising carnival. Yeah, what do I tell the pilots? Tell them that the request is outside the area of their competence. Oh, you mean they're too dumb? Got three men up there dying. 
They're professionals. If they were here now, they'd say, take what you've learned and get on with the next mission. I don't give a damn about the next mission. Dougherty, there's no room in this program for a chief astronaut who cannot look at the whole picture. Oh. Mm. Fire me. Sober up and then we'll talk about it. You want to launch a rescue mission in 42 hours. All right. So they can't get back to Earth. Is that what they're saying? I think that's what they're trying to get around to here. One, stage two, and trance stage. How long, Colonel, on past performance? Well, on past performance, 12 days. But if we were... Oh, days. Days. Two, build up and strap on solid fuel stacks. Four days. But we can... Four days. Third base. Check out launch weather for Monday night. Finish. There's a hurricane out there. 600 miles off the coast and headed out to sea. Well, you're in luck. Three, make the vehicle to the bird and check out configuration. How long, Colonel? Uh, well, I left uh, notes at, at home. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry so much. Um, Four, compute navigation and guidance tapes for first Apogee rendezvous. Ten days, program computers. So what's your point? Three weeks. We'll go without a computer. We'll go without a checker. And crew training in a craft which has not been man-rated which cannot be flown by one pilot and which has not been modified to hold Wake four up. men. How about that one? Scorched you, huh? Face. We'll do it in 42 hours. Or my name isn't Harry O. U.S. Treasury. Well, you're oh, assembling your rescue ship in 42 hours and spending, well, how much would that cost, Fisher? 50 million. So what? Plus how many deaths? Uh, three, sir? Maybe? Maybe. In a oh, program yes. of this magnitude, in which all nominal safety factors are disregarded, I calculate 0.02% of the workforce will die. Just how the hell do you know how many people are going to die? You think we haven't considered rescue? Here it is. Rescue and every other contingency. Here it is. Reduced to digitals and computerized. There's Bill Shatner's report right here. You helped to write it. A mm. rational approach. Screw your rational approach. Yeah, it will bite me, Harry O. are in trouble, and if you don't try to get them down, well... Damn you. Whoa! You got me. Uh, that was fair. Good, I have feelings. That's why we live by the rules. Ape law. Wheeler. Woolsey. Courtney. Fisher. Price. Klein. Calvin. We've got a bingo. Those men up there are your friends. Can you launch a rescue mission in 42 hours? You bet we can. We'll get a barn and I'll paint the sets. Mm. We'll put on a rescue mission that'll take us straight to Broadway! Time's up. How much did you risk? All of it. Yeah. I'm sorry. Oh. It's Commissioner Gordon. Yeah, we're ready at this end. Uh -huh. Very good. Great. Uh, the girls the are here. We'll All take right. the call at 7 o'clock this time. Call today. And meanwhile, this is Houston Flight. Go, hmm? Houston. We're coming up to get you, Iron Man. Uh, we've called AAA. Say again. We're coming up to get you. That's what We're I thought Hey, it's helmet day at NASA. Mm -hmm. David Jansen wishes it was beer day. Mm. Now there are uh, men without hats. Mm. Do you read our Yeah, and we read you. Yeah, whatever. Houston, when do you estimate launch? Just over 40 hours, Tony. 40 hours? <laughs> Who are they kidding? Do you read Iron Man? No, but I read Final Exit, and it's going to come well, in handy. to make the move up here. Go EVA and eyeball the engine. The fuel uh, is We'll pull insulating hatches. If they are, when we get into the sun, we'll turn and get some heat on them. Mm -hmm. That's an interesting thought, Iron Man, but we have no indication of that here, or anything else you could correct. We're all agreed the rescue mission is it. Well, we're all agreed here that we have to take some affirmative action to repair so our we're going to hire some women and minorities. Stand by one. Well, I'm negative, Jimmy. Negative. Always with the negative yeah. waves. We appreciate your desire to take affirmative action, and we need your affirmative action if the mission is to succeed. But shut up. The most critical factor is your oxygen supply. To get 15 minutes of activity outside the spacecraft to eyeball the engine, mm -hmm. you're going to have to trade off three or four hours of passive breathing. Hmm. From where we sit, you don't have that oxygen to spare. What's your Melville Barbie watch say? Therefore, we'd like to suggest that you go into low tide mode, lower your oxygen pressure to 3.5, execute a full emergency power down, uh -huh. and take your pills. Hey. Who wants to buy it while we're sleeping? Uh, we got Judy Garland on the line. She'll be advising you on the pill thing. Do you copy, Iron Man? What? Oh. Yeah. 
We're thinking about it. Not. I'm negative, Jim. Negative. Kurt, is this thing on? Oh, this is Keith. I'm down here You're at the Cape Saddler, and we're getting this rescue shot ready to go. Now, don't do anything foolish. Don't climb into your hard suits. Don't get out your tools, and don't try to fix the engine. Don't sleep in the subways, baby. Pills. Go to sleep. And don't eat refrozen ice cream, and don't you mix household down, cleaners. We've got a better chance than you do, Jim. <laughs> we'll be back at Fix <laughs> 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 Well, you eat up 25% more oxygen every time you lose your cool. What's a four-letter word for fiery death? Houston Iron Man. Uh, please pull ahead of the first window. Preparing for power down. Roger, Iron Man. Hmm. What are the numbers, Tony? The Cleveland 8, Cincinnati 4. Oh, oh. Well, with nominal oxygen usage, I make it 36 hours left. Uh-huh. Take out the pad, 40 hours. Uh, I've got sleep apnea, so I won't use up much. How are you figuring the residual amounts in the tanks? <laughs> Gene. Gene! He just doesn't care. You know, you'd have to breathe them dry to find out. No one's ever done that. Huh. Hell, I got the feeling we just may be the first. Look, like they're doing the Hindu rope trick. <laughs> From the room. To Gator McCluskey. <laughs> we now return to Cannonball Run. So I guess the point here is that these people are driving somewhere. Capra Jr. said they bought the crane, so they're going to use it. Here they go. Now, everybody remember, we're parking in the turtle lot. The turtle lot. Hellfighters with John Wayne will return. Da, 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 da. It's George Bush. Check it out. <laughs> hey, look, they set up a couple of wet bars. Hmm. It's Bolt versus Blaze in an all out battle tied on American Gladiators. Jump, 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 jump. jump, jump, jump. This is ground control to Major Tom. You've really made the grade, and the papers want to know whose shirts you wear. Over. <laughs> Pull the GNN circuit breakers and the IMU heater breakers. You do it, I'm bitter. Shut down the attitude control system. Oh, the attitude control. SES secure. Shut down number two and three fuel cells. We'll leave number one on the line in case we have to charge the batteries. Check and see if I unplug the curling iron, to too, would you? And we'll leave it on. Floodlight's off. You guys are great to be with. Can we stay up and talk a while? EL off. Yellow. Buzz, the low equipment bay, dark. LED lights are off. Good night, Mrs. Calabash, wherever you are. And why isn't that off? It's my night light. I don't know why. Gene, can I have a drink of water? Houston well. Iron Man, we're cranked down. <laughs> Cover, Jim. We'll check in when you come over the hill at Guimas. We're going to keep you informed every step of the way. Every move you make, every Get step you take, we'll be watching you. In a while. Jim, this is Courtney. Now, I want you to take one tablet of Stryzine after Who wants go? I, I do, do, I, I do. do. Power down. You can drink as much water as you want. Now, every word, every emotion costs oxygen, so the more relaxed you are, the better. All right, you bums, take your pills and go to sleep. Jeez, he's drunk again. Hey, hello, big brother. Hey, it's Ed. Hi, it's Tony. Hey, where are you? I'm at Lucy's house. Rackets? Well, I'm in Huntsville, kludging up a simulator, the XRV. I'm at Space Thank Camp you. with Kate Capshaw. A simulator, the XRV. I'm going to do a little brush up here before I take it to the cave. Well, this is a great time to start learning how to fly it. Listen, all you guys got to worry about is where you want me to set you down after I make the transfer. Go on, pick your spot. Edwards, Vegas, how about the beach in Malibu? Why not? Sure. All right, take your pills, go to sleep, leave the driver to us. Good night, I'm out of here. I'll see you in 39 hours and 16 minutes. Not if we see you first. <laughs> I love that one, that's really good. Tastes like fresh cherries. I wonder what mine's gonna taste like. Mm. 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 Gene, stop looking at it and just eat it. What's he doing? He's, he's crushing it into his cleft on his chin. Like a mortar and pestle. 
Time to go. Shoes for industry. Shoes for the net. Shoes for industry. Hi there. Hi, My I'm name's Joe Beats. Beats. Right. Say, what chance does that bring? Iron Man 1, Iron Man 1, this is Houston, do you read me? Ah, uh, roger that, Houston, coming in on the wall to wall. Uh, roger that, Iron Man, advise you adjust your attitude using Happy Hour Protocol 3-Niner. Ah, uh, roger that, 3-Niner, Houston, we're gonna highball the Delta V to modify attitude. Roger, we have cranked down on the IMU, you are me, tuck and roll formation. Uh, roger, Corman, advise you pull all GNN circuit breakers, modify your ILM Skywalkers, and full retraction of your Robin Lane chart busters, and hold on your power and glory switches. Ah, uh, Roger on that glory hold, sir. Hold, I read Gypsy Doctor. Serious static leak and apathy thruster. Serious yaw pitch and kick with apathy flux and range. Uh, Roger, stay calm, boys. Shut down all SDS dissident controls, but number one. Uh, speaking of number one, Stoney, I got too much tang in me. I got renal overflow. Uh, better send up that John uh, Houston. Looks uh, like Hackman here has screwed the pooch over. Uh, Roger that pooch. Uh, we're cranked on till 09 or 5 or uh, check in when you come over the hill at Canary. Ah, uh, that's Canary Crow. All uh, right, boys. Just take your pills and kiss your apogee goodbye. What? 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 what are you? What are you... Uh, that's right. This is Fugitive One. Now, when you want oh. headache relief, no, no, fast, Joel, he's two wrecking everything. Stop. What are you doing? What are you doing? There? I'm just trying to spice it up. Uh, 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 the, this here is the fugitive looking for the riverboat queen, hauling a load of sailboat fuel northbound on the nickel. Uh, you got a bear in here and a plane wrap for the coil Crow, enough with the CB lingo. The only reason we did this is because you do such a killer peck. A uh, 10 4 killer peck. Uh, you got the rusty load running east out of Needletown. Uh, looking at the flabby gas passer, uh, I'll be 10 10 on the side uh, of prize of the beef retriever and the riverboat queen uh, coming into Los Angeles. <laughs> bringing uh, in a couple open the of the door now. Don't forget to put the movie side to help me and stop. Don't let my dad go through everything. I hate it when you leave me hanging in the middle of a sketch like that. I should caution you. It's the beautiful break girls. Degeneration. Is that good? To show them how confident you are. We understand, Dick. We won't let you down. You want us to be confident. The more relaxed they are, the less oxygen they use. Mm -hmm. I know why we're here. You do? You're letting us say goodbye. Is that Lou Grant? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, we press on Grant. See him? Lee, honey, that's a fall if ever I saw one. Jiggle the antenna. Put it on channel three. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Touch the There you go. Mm -hmm. Hi, Frank. Hi. Mm -hmm. Oh, nothing, nothing. Wasn't Frank, touching it. It's, it's okay. Celia? Celia. You're breaking my heart. Celia. You're breaking my heart. I'm the monitor up here. Hi. What are you laughing at? You know, in those days, you were required to smoke. Oh. Honey, guess where I'm calling from? Huh. I see you. Well, here I am again. Huh? Signed, sealed, delivered, I'm yours. Yeah. Huh. Well, what are you wearing? Everybody's been so nice. Sometime. I, I spoke to your father today. Uh-oh. And he says to say hello. And he says he's hello. sorry you're going to die. I mean, Shh. I bought some new shoes. Shoes. Huh. They hurt. <laughs> That's great. What the heck does that have to do with anything? I'm dying up here. Kids. Kids? Oh. Fine, oh. Fine. I I lost the bill to the insurance. I thought I had it paid, and then just this morning I got a letter. <laughs> I'd find that and pay it if I were you. Babe, I, uh, I just want to tell you that I love you. Huh? What? I said I love you. In front of the guys? Uh, I just wanted you to know. Mm-hmm. Neat. Now, so the house needs painting, and I was wondering if you'd like a nice eggshell or maybe an enamel? I just wanted to make sure. Stoner, come on, you're hurting my leg. Scoot you over. Is it very lonely where you are? No, not with these guys. Stoney's rigging a beer bunk. <laughs> no, not, uh, not for long. We all have great confidence. That your death will be quick and painless. Oops. Wow. Uh, mm-hmm. 
she didn't have any, you know, any more uh, problems with the insurance or the house or uh, anything like that. You uh, talk to Darty. He's a good guy. And he's alive. I gave him a kiss to give you when he sees you. Uh, just how many kisses did you give him? Just so when I see him, I'll know. Yeah. Uh, just what I need. <laughs> you never can tell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little tuned up, honey. Uh, <clears throat> so, uh, you like pudding? Well, I gotta go now. Oh. Where? <laughs> no, I, I mean, I really have to go now. Uh, See, yeah, I, uh, I had a real good day today. I, I made an ashtray. And, uh, you know, when you, uh, when you think about this, uh, And you will think about this. Please be kind. I want you to remember I had a real good day. Um, you're not giving me much to work with, honey. Jim. We better cut it off now. Will I see you in September or lose you to a summer oh, love? there's one more thing. That I'm buying a... You. Oh, I guess it can wait till you're de I mean down. <laughs> Sorry. I lost five pounds last week. I can't wait till you see me. So, big deal. I'm weightless. <laughs> <laughs> that tickles, honey. Don't do that. <laughs> I'm too good at you that. You take care of yourself. Take care. And you're healed, honey. Note to myself, remember the monitor thing when he comes home. I'm going to be doing TV movies for the rest of my career. Oh. <laughs> Celia, how'd it go with Dick? Does he know about us? Could you touch my screen, too? Come on, Celia. Hi, sport. Hiya, kid. How are the mice? Oh, they're dead. How's the rabbit? Uh, we're learning something every day. You're writing a big bell book up there? No. No, I leave that oh, to James Mishner. How are you? Gorgeous. And you? I'm working on a, a little project. I've developed an experimental hypothesis for you to prove out. Have you? Well, what is it? How long can you hold your breath? I feel like Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> yeah, I love you too, honey. <laughs> Your paper came out last week. Oh, uh, you got to be mine. Professor Stovel said it's a, b a brilliant presentation. It's the best he's ever he's ever read. We're gonna make it, Teresa. What? Huh? We're gonna make it back. What? Huh? We're going to make, make it? it back. Oh, that's great. Now about the insurance, I was wondering if I have to. Oh. Yes. I mean it. We're all coming back. Back? Well. Well, could, when? Could, could you call first? Listen, Teresa, I... It's Teresa. I, I want you and the kids to... Oh, uh, wait, I've got another call coming in. Could you hold a minute? Uh... Look, I, I, I have to go now. I'll be seeing you. Tony. I'll be seeing you. No, you hang up first. No, you hang up. No, you hang up no, first. No, you... <laughs> I love you. Remember that. Uh, what was the middle part? Remember that. We'll always have Encino. Uh, whatever. Oh, fudge. She was my connection. Oh. This makes for great TV. Bud? No. Uh, uh, what? Radio. Nothing. I wasn't doing that. Uh, just thing. General LeClaire called all the way from Clark's Field. He asked me to dinner. I that was so nice. Oh, and Jim oh, yeah. Garner called, too. They want to give you something. A, a headstone. Oh, look, look I'm, yeah. you don't seem to understand. It's all falling apart up here. You understand? That's nice, honey. I understand, Bob. You see, I broke the washing machine, and, and now I can't fix it. What, is he the Maytag repairman all of a sudden? I understand how I you feel. Mean, oh. I could Sad, fix it really. if they'd give me the tools, but, hmm. but they won't. Listen, honey, I, I wrote something. It's called The Reluctant Astronaut Bites the Big One. Hear it? What? The, the president, 
the White House, Washington, D.C. Dear Mr. President, we just wanted to He's let you know how up. much we appreciate the heroic action to save our husbands. We are grateful to you and to everyone in the nation. Mm -hmm. The team effort of the past two days will be an inspiration yeah, to us. This our is so poorly written. Our courageous our stand. It's all falling apart and they're blaming me. And it's... <laughs> I don't feel very good. Can I fix you a nice 7-Up and soda crackers, dear? Buzz, oh. I have to go now. Bye. I love you. I'll see you later. Bye, honey. You guys a five-pound fruitcake. I gotta get out of here. The other husbands were so strong, and mine's a tower of jello, but he's good, though. Mm. Sorry, everyone. Sorry. Oh, turn him off. Uh, Buzz? Can you give me a reading on your partial pressure of carbon dioxide? Here. Thank you. Excuse me. I just gave you that. Turn it off. Negative. Turn it off. Uh, negative. You give me a PS. This oh, is good TV. Like, what's going on down there? Whoa. Where'd you get us out of here? Get a hold of him, Jim. Get him away from the control. Get him out of here. 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 Put on some Dan Fogelberg. Guys. Come on. Oh no, he thinks he's Shatner for crying out loud. Buzz off. Oh, also. That's my man up there. You better have a woman's lounge around here. Mm. Watch Comedy Central, the only all comedy cable network. I've got points on this game. I can't believe you bet on the Bears. It is cold out there. T minus 60 seconds and counting. Hmm? Hmm? Hold! Hold! I'm gonna do what Greg does. Shut it down. Damn. Tower crew to launch pad. Move in tower. But for Vince Lombardi and the Green Bay Packers, there would come another day. Gene. Use Gene, buddy, Man. chin up. Hey. Man. Use the Iron Man, do you read? Can't read, that's my secret shame. Goldstone, this is Iron Man, do you read? Goldstone, this is Kidney Stone, Goldstone Niner. I know you're there, stop screening your calls. Climus, Iron Man. Robert Bly, this is Iron John. Gene, what does your suit smell like, buddy? <laughs> Kate, this is Iron Man. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I thought Jim was going to get it, and he thought I'm I was going to get it. <laughs> we had to scrub the launch. Hey, 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 there's ladies present. These guys better scrub the inside of their suits. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, I figured it might be like that. We've, uh, we've mm -hmm. been watching the storm. Now, uh, we suggest you start breathing in shifts. T minus 60 seconds. Now listen, Jim, we're still working on that engine. Oh, you got the engine down there? No wonder it doesn't work. Oh, great, now there's a bank robbery. Ah, huh. uh, this bites Houston over. Boss, uh, I just, uh, I wanted to tell you uh, that you've done a great job. Well, up till now, at any rate. And, uh, well, it's no hard feelings. The place looks you know, great, and you look great, and, well, off, you know. Uh, for us. I just want to say, and I'm so glad we had this time to together. <laughs> yeah, you've done a great job, really. And, you know, uh, I'd like to be fed to my dog. Uh, good night now. GBI reports loss of signal. Ascension will acquire the spacecraft. Shall we remote you through? No. Nope. Move in, white room. Get the pilot. It's Storm and Norman. Check it out. Hey. Right. Hey. Now get me Keith. I want to speak to Keith. Talk to me, sweet cakes. We've done everything we possibly could. We cannot launch. Look, I'm telling you to launch. You get this hay wagon off the ground. Now no, launch. I can't Damn hear you. I can't, I'm day. leaving. La, 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 la. I do not hear you. Hey. La, 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 la. I do not hear you. Hey. Okay, stay with the group. We promise you'll see some stars this tour. In one of these buildings, there may be a hurricane. Look, there's Gregory Peck! Wow. Uh, Here it comes. Da, 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 da. 
All right. Shoot. But first, I a few a bird calls. The launch of the XRB rescue craft was struck at 8.47 Cape Time. Have was shut down at T minus 58 seconds. Last call was at 145. The launch area rose to 48 knots. The tiny sandwiches are being put back in deep freeze. Commander Pruitt in the Apollo command module has been informed. He wept openly like a little baby. This is this. This was a very fine, fine effort. It's good. Have any questions? Mr. Keith. Ah, uh, yes. Is there any way I can look any darkier? Does that mean you're going to reschedule at a later time? Oh, we have no plans. Would there be any future rescue attempts? I have no plans. Oh, Mr. no, that Keith. guy was in Rocket Club, definitely. Informed. Informed. So. Who informed them? <clears throat> I did. What was their reaction? They liked it. Liked it a lot. Well, I have a quote questions? from Mr. Hackman. He said, ah! There's a general assumption that the space program will be brought to a halt for an investigation of the accident. Hey, check out Pee-wee's evil the brother on the right. the examination Ooh. of our purposes in space and the morality of putting men into space without adequate... Well, what's your question? And uh, why is Richard Speck lurking over my shoulders, my question? You uh. You're damn right they are. You want to know what they accomplished living up there in a tin can for five months? Uh, well, lots of stuff. Because of men like these, we've taken the first step off this little planet. Trip to the moon was just to walk around the block. We're going to the stars. You little small town other pissant. Worlds, other civilizations. Mr. Keith. I want this man savagely beaten. Men will be killed in this effort, just as they're killed in cars and airplanes, in bars and in bed. What is it? Are you sure man? you want to say that, sir? What about the numbers, Mr. Keith? The numbers. The numbers, let me see. God's name. I just won lotto. I quit. <laughs> Well, uh, these are some pics that my kids drew. Uh, hope, yeah, I hope you like them. Uh, who cut out the ad? I haven't even read this yet. 90 knot winds. In the center or eye, we have zero. Uh oh, Mr. Liddy! Yeah, Mr. Liddy! Mr. Liddy! Mr. Liddy! All I wish to hear from each of you is yes or no. Go or no go. Uh, go. We have a launch window while the eye is over the cape. We affirm a launch window at 22-31-06. Can you launch your rocket through the eye of the hurricane? Uh, yes, if sir. I felt like it. Bird fly. Well, it's been kicked around by 80 knot winds. The date is a little... What's your judgment? It'll fly. Carp. Yes, sir. Carp? Do we have 16 minutes in the eye? No, sir, not 16. Nope. Do we have 14? Well, we've been trying to get a prog chart. Come on, Carp. Yes or no? What's your judgment? I'll buy 14. Okay. Can we move I'll the tower 15. back in 12 minutes? You give the order and we'll do it. Houston flight. That's your night retainer, sir. Does the rescue craft go for Point Charlie? We can hit Point Charlie, yes, but from there on in, the pilot will be on his own. Rescue, can you rendezvous without an onboard computer program? You just get me in the ballpark. As long as it's not in the there Metrodome. Go for launch. At 22.31.06, local time. Just deal with a carp. 22.31.06, local time. Roger. 22.31.06, local time. Give or take an hour. Recycle to T minus 30. Hey, it's Peter Uber off there. When this is over, you know, let's find a quiet spot. By 22.31.06, huh? the crew will be dead. There's not enough oxygen left for three men to live that long. Hmm. Well, what about... Two men. What about we don't six minutes? We plot total pressure against total use. Is there sufficient oxygen for two men? What about two men standing on each other's shoulders? How are you or about one? How about two small dogs and a bat? A porcupine, perhaps? Two might just make it. Two small dogs, it is. Hey, someone left the cape out in the rain. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he had to do it. <laughs> I do love the Weather Channel. It's good. It, it really is good. Now for this word from Dial. <laughs> I did it again. Stop that, you. Gee, just trying to get the BB in the bear's eye. I love these pocket puzzles. Yep, almost. Yep. Oh, don't. Oh, 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 oh. Don't. We're out of the dark. We're out of the woods. We're out of the night. Just confirm that all spacecraft systems are go at this time. 
Launch director is about to feed the final computer update to the spacecraft. Wow, check out all the night crawlers. This is an unbelievable Ooh, scene. Wormy. No wind. Absolute silence. Overhead. Nothing but black night and brilliant stars. He's talking into a fudge the Hurricane call. Alma mm -hmm. passes directly over us. You say the magic word and you get a hundred dollars. Eerie hush over everything here. All over the world. No rain, no wind. The lives of three men are uh, measured by their fading heartbeats. And here on pad 41 at Cape Kennedy, we're right in the middle of another heartbeat. It's a single moment in the life of a great These storm. These final seat covers on the cameras, how a tacky. Reprieve, we hope, for Pruitt, Lloyd, and Stone. The service tower is rolling away from the launch pad. <gasps> Somebody as as stop it! 800 that. feet away, it'll be locked What's into position. But they'll launch before that happens. That tower is expendable. But the three men... Are slightly less Man expendable than that tower there. What can you do? Iron Man 1, Houston Capcom, do you read? Iron Man 1, Houston Capcom, do you read? Hey, isn't the machine supposed to kick in after four rings? Do you uh, you want to trade seats or something? Iron Man, this is Pete. What the hell do they want? Flint! Flint! Uh, I'm up. I'm Hello, up. Jim, what? I want what? to talk to you. Hey, what do you want? I have some numbers for you. The, hmm. uh, the eye of the hurricane passed over the Cape at 2218. And we had a second window at 22-31-06. Now, I want time. you to add those numbers. We've I want to check out the John Ritter the learning system. Craft through the eye. Do you understand? Hmm? You have launched the XRV? Yep. Yes, that's correct. XRV has completed staging. It's, it's a Honda, way. actually, a CRX. It's only a two-seater, so now one of you has to go. 23 that's 55 minutes from now. Do you read? Right, uh, yeah, right. We'll take a vote on it, but we we're kind of getting used to the idea of death. I told Stoney I loved him. Ooh. Jim, how do you uh, how do you evaluate the oxygen situation? What oxygen? Uh, <laughs> I kid. I just well, we have whatever oxygen is left in the spacecraft system, and then and there's, there's only, whatever's uh, in the air. Two bottles of emergency oxygen on board, five minutes each. That's uh, ten man minutes. We can always squeeze um, Stoner for a quart. My backpack and uh, burp a little. Lloyd's and Stones, uh, but uh, there's not much oxygen left in them. I have to save your backpacks for the EVA transfer. Yeah, I know that. Duh. Fifty-five minutes. Stony Shroomin, look at him. We'll be dead by then. Uh, that's how I see it too. Looks like we solved this problem. Continue. Thanks to use oxygen at the present rate. Well, uh, we can't cut down. Let's think about that. Won't mm. you? Thank you. You, uh, you want us to lower the uh, partial pressure again? No, we've, we've examined that. It won't work. Uh, should we all beat around the bush a little more? Well, we're lying here like corpses now. Uh, what else can we do? I'm glad you brought that up. You now know, you've got it. Thank you. Da one, da two. The guy in the middle, he's the troublemaker, you know it. Uh, we're thinking. LT, only stay M scray. Are we talking about the same thing? Are you talking to me? Yeah. Why don't you talk it over? If, if you could work out something, it would be a great help. Really? Yeah, we'll talk it over. I must point out, Jim, that any effective action must be taken immediately. But don't tell me what to do. Ooh. We've been taking your goddamn orders, and where the hell are we? Ooh. From now on, we're going to make all the decisions. Dirty anarchist. Whatever we do, you're out of it. Well, I, I appreciate what you're saying, Jim, and I agree with you. You're exactly right. You are correct, sir. Uh, yeah, anything else? Uh, yes, uh, to two of you, no, good that's, luck. That's uh, to one of you, uh, goodbye. Uh, <clears throat> would you... Uh, please give me those launch numbers again. Yes, that's launch at 22.31.06 Cape Time. Rendezvous and transfer at 23.28. And breakfast any old time. Thanks. For nothing. <laughs> Wait till they find out I'm joking. There's plenty of air for everyone. <laughs> you know, they say someday these will be cordless. <laughs> 
2328. Pretty funny guy, isn't he? 55 minutes to go. Counting commercials? Through the eye. Quit breathing so hard. Jesus, 55 minutes. Uh, Stoney, you still have that pillow? Right. It'll be pretty cold by then. You know, when you put your mouth down here, you can make funny noise. Well, nope. one of us gonna have to go. Hmm. I mean, uh, I just went. That's <laughs> what we're talking about, isn't it? One of us goes, and uh, the other two stay. I think it should be old Zeppelin Lungs Hackman. I'll stay. I'll, I want to be the one. Uh, you're you're closest to the door. I could move. What are we gonna Not do? Should I stay or should I go? All right, look, let's do it scientifically. Two big guys throw the little guy out, okay? <laughs> good idea. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what we that's think. What we yeah, that's good. Yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah. Um, I wasn't joking, Gene. Serves you right for doing gypsy moths. <laughs> well, listen, we're going to have to talk about this. What, what, what are we going to do? We already told you. Throw you out. You think we're joking? Are we amusing you? Do you think we're clowns? I could do it by chance. I tear out strips from the pad. One short, too long. Guy with the short end goes. Well, they could flip a coin, but it would never come down. Oh, it's a pretty hot Pretty hot yeah. Tear the little guy in half. Well, look, I, I don't want to just lay here and die. I, uh, I want to shake the dirt of this crummy oh, castle off the, uh, my shoes and see the world. Guys, three guys. Is that much difference? I say wait, double the pills. Are there five all of a sudden? No moving, missing? no talking, pulse way down. Even when there's no pressure, there's still oxygen molecules floating around you. You live for a while, even when there's no pressure in the gauges. Yeah, my cousin did it once. Mm. For God's sake, it's less than 55 minutes. Green stone. No? All right, okay, man. I'll go. Oh, good. Oh, wait, I'm locked in. I can't. Oh, I'm sorry. Just, I'm using up the most oxygen. I'll, I'll go. All right. All right. All right, all right. Really isn't what you call a win-win mm -hmm. situation, is it? Mm -hmm. All right, get your helmets on. I'm going out to fix the engine. Are you kidding? You can't fix that engine. Oh, who died and made you, you know president of the capsule? Hmm? There. I don't know why I let him talk me out of it. I should have done this two days ago. Hey, look! It's a big old 59 Caddy with a mm -hmm. carbuncle on the back. Mm -hmm. Anyone seen my Grecian formula? I left it here in a small bottle for Greg. Well, I think I'll play a little Super Mario if you don't mind. Okay, sure. don't everyone talk at once. I know that was a riveting scene, wasn't it? Yeah. Breathe deep the gathering gloom. Richard, uh-uh. Nope, nope. Don't nope, touch nope. that. Uh-uh. Nope. Uh -uh. nope. No. Don't. Hey, that's the yogurt machine. Don't you dare go out there. I don't want you out there. Fisher. Oh, well, he's going out. Let's us go Ooh, out, huh? Let's mm. us go out. Take a cue. Well said. Hey, there's lots mm -hmm. of oxygen mm -hmm. out there. Did you guys ever think about what might happen if one of us would have to leave the ship in order to save the others? Uh, nope. Not really, no. Oh, mm -hmm. really not in the least? Can't say as I have, Skipper. Yeah, pretty cut and dried if you think about it. Oh, come on, you guys are saying that this film hasn't touched you in the least? Three men marooned in space? You know, they're addressing a problem that we someday may have to face. And, you know, who can put a value on human life? I mean... Who can decide who lives and who dies? I do. Remember? I called dibs. Joel, I hate to be the shriveled carrot under your peach cobbler, uh, yeah, but... The... Yeah, Joel, there really isn't anything to talk about. You're a human. You need oxygen to breathe. We don't. We're robots. Exceptionally cute robots, I <laughs> yes, think. Yes, exactly. Oh, and clever, too. Oh, I was gonna say irreverent and witty. <laughs> Droll, yet insightful. Oh, hardly different. I'm already alone, aren't I? You fix it. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, a big help. 
He'll fix it. You son of a bitch, you know what he's doing up there. He's smoking. He told me he was out of cigarettes. Back in here. Jenny, how do you do it? Okay, now where's the hood on this goofy thing? I'm gonna rip out the umbilicals. Jim, don't do it! Jim! Jim! I'm hiding down here. <laughs> Jim, don't do it! Jim! Jim, come back in here and put your mittens on. No, Jim, don't. Really. No, don't go. Stoney. Stoney, give me some line here. Tony, feed me, Jack. Feed me. Well, what do you know? <laughs> Jim, quick, show us your Rolex. You know he's gonna burst like a balloon. Sad, really. Hmm. If you think about it. Doggone it, Jim! You got the keys. I'm melting, melting. Oh, he cubed it, man. I don't think I can watch this. No way. Tying is easy. Comedy is hard. Oh, so Richard Crenna said that. Yep, I think so. Either that Matt painting goes or I do. Oh, I said that too. Wait, one last bit. Like my cagney, you dirty ra. Luke, Loki, dang damn it, you get back in this ship right now before I tan your head. <laughs> hey, you didn't sign our yearbook. Hey, it's Matt Dillon and Penny Marshall. I'd rather be a hammer than a snail. Oh, uh, hold on a sec. Yeah, he's dead. Uh, can we still have dinner? I don't know. Well, you think about it. Tonight, the music of Lazarium. Ah, uh, Carl Dammer would like to see you. Haunting, isn't it? Alan Shepard in a well-received cameo. Oh, he must share an office with Fred McMurray. Hmm. Major Healy will be right in. Get out, get out! The calls are coming from inside NASA! If you have a husband in space, press 1. If you have a dead husband in space, press 2. Mrs. Pruitt, I wanted to talk to you. I'm calling from your credit union. Your husband is dead. And how are you? Way to let her down easy. It was an accident. We were playing and, well, Mommy said I was too He was rough. trying to repair the spacecraft. And he shot himself. So I was wondering if you'd like to have some dinner. Uh, you like Chinese? I know this place, it's I'm called sorry. the Crash Pad. Uh, oh, oh. So how are things on your end? Not so good, huh? Well, my condolences. I'm sending you a case of steaks. Hello? Really? Please, let a smile be your umbrella. I speak from the... <laughs> hey, it's not us! Woo! <laughs> Well, now we got some room. I thought he'd never leave. Scooch over. Excuse me. Jim's not here. That's an accident. Dave's not here, man. Where's Tony? Up here. Tony? Darty's coming. Man, they're really cutting loose on that breathing thing now that that guy's gone. Uh, they're breathing for two now. Tony? Tell Jim. I love him. Get us out of here. Stop eating your oxygen, damn you! Be still. It's Chuck Heston. Sounded like him. Oh, look, the mothership. <laughs> the Funkadelic mothership? Point eight. Mm -hmm. you know, since when did NASA paint anything red? It, I'm a little under the line. Rescue flight. Jansen, oh, under the line? Right. Roger, attitude is go. Delta V, six, you know, three. Either that ship is tiny Roger, or he's huge. Roger, three. Two, one. Oh, that helped. Watch. Can't. Nope. Can't. Gotta save nope, it for the nope. transfer. Not another bite until we get to Grandma's. I got a big scene coming up. I need the oxygen. Oh. No, you're not dying. I'm dying. Great. 
Takes a long time. Iron Man, this is rescue. Iron Man, this is rescue. Read you. Read you. Oh, I love you. Time. Say again. Come on, Stoney. Turn on your acquisition lights. Turn on your love lights. Roger. And leave it on. Roger. Acquisition lights. Where are those bright? Pretty bright lights. Okay, Stoney, I'm coming right down the pipe. I'll see you in six minutes. Whoa, you thought of me, man. All right. Six minutes, mm. Roger. Fooey, 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 fooey on the ship. Fooey on the ship is what I say. You can, but you've got to. Hey everybody, it's the Stony and Buzz you can, Show. Buzz, think, think of something, Buzz. Think, uh, that Buzz has been a raspberry seed in their wisdom tooth long enough. Think of the Earth, Buzz. Look, look at the Earth, Buzz. Look, can you... Can you tell where we are? Over the Dells? Stony? I'm right here, okay? All right, Buzz. All right. You can sit next to the window. All right. Time for that Floby haircut. Come on. All of you. Okay, open wide. Here comes Papa. Ooh. All right, boys. Oh, oh, nice. oh. Oh, right. oh, my God. What the oh, heck are they doing up there? Hey, that's not half bad. It smells fresh. Hmm. By Proform. Oh, finally, the cable guy's here. Took him long enough. The Russian cable guy. Huh? In our Easter bonnets with all the red lacquer on it. <laughs> Who's laughing? I can't figure it out. Oh, the other Gene is laughing. Oh, Gene, I hooked you into the... Uh, Nitrous, I'm sorry. <laughs> Come here, you. Tuck in that shirt. You look ridiculous with the tails hanging up. <laughs> That's enough for you, dude. <laughs> uh, Roger, Dave, we don't need you anymore. The Russians right, rescued them. Rescue. Thanks anyway. Roger, Ted, you've got their act lights. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. That was number nine. <laughs> I kill me. Blow the hatch. Do not. Do not blow the hatch. <laughs> Bite me and blowing a hatch. <laughs> oh, look, we're heating the outside now. <laughs> damn them. Damn them all to hell. <laughs> All right, Chuckles, up you go. Come on. There's a bright golden haze on the metal. Hey, is that Nancy Sinatra? No, boots. that was Servo. The boots. Oh, no. <laughs> boots. Okay. I never told you this before. Gene's got nice legs, doesn't he? All right. Where's the supernova? Pull it over. Come on. Can't get any closer, Buzz. If I was any closer, I'd be oh, behind you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I've been shooting reds and yellows all day. I'm so sleepy. <laughs> There's the pitch. Come here, Domsky. Looks like it's blowing away. It's gonna be ball one. Oops, I don't gotcha. I meant to do that. Oh, so, so sorry, Mr. American Space Guy. Oops, bye-bye. 
Well, and he lost another one in the sun. I, you know, I thought Walton was going to really do it this year. But, well, anyway, it's a good time right now for a nice cold Budweiser beer. Yeah. I'm just going to lie down for a little catnap. Just a little winky dinky. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the mystery of the Azra levitation. He's got a nice vacuum sealed cod piece on there. Hey, look at that. Ah, oh, gotcha. I'm not that drunk. I had to stop off at a package store. I would have been there sooner, but I hit all the lights. I've got visual on them now. I'm going to break down to 10. They're about 50 feet apart. The Apollo hatch is open. I'm yeah, going to break down crew. and cry. Negative. I'm going to go in a little closer. Oh, I just fried. I'm sorry. No riders in the sky. Chuck, turn your blinker off. Dude, pretty hot spaceship. Now there's a light flashing from the Russian ship. Hey, you kids, get going. Get a move on. Come on. Hey, I haven't got any vodka in there. I'm dying. Some guy's floating about 150 feet below me. Mm -hmm. I'm going uh, after him. My guess would be it's the guy you're looking for. Neat. Major Matt Mason. Sure wish I had me one of those jetpacks. Be a perfect sleeper. Be a perfect sleeper. Perfect sleeper by Serda. Shall we have it? Mm hmm. Well, oh, no, no, made a mistake. It's not him. It's somebody else. I don't know. You should never pick up hitchhikers. Uh -huh. All right, come to me, my sweet friend. Come on. Come to Papa. Oh, hi. I feel like a dope. Sorry you had to come out all this way. <laughs> uh, no problem. I'm just going to have to take your appendix. Don't mind me. Huh? My appendix? Hi. Right. Hey, look, he's got a super squirt. Oh, no, there. that's a little baby nitrous thing there. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Gee, thanks, I guess. Wait a minute, I, I was just about to become a star child. Uh. There's nothing going on out here. I'm going back in. Hey, look, I found another one out here. They're everywhere and they're free. <laughs> I know it's kind of ugly. Just get in. I kind of live out of my satellite. I'll get, we'll get your head all polished up. Get a nice meal. Oh, hey, look at that thing. You can see the strings. Yeah, fakey, it's really fakey. Fake. And, and look, you can see their backpacks, yeah, too. Yeah, but huh? Oh, yeah. Hey, excuse me, sir. Would you step out of the vehicle, please? May I see your license and identification? Mom, is that you? You know, the ironic thing is that in real life, uh, James Franciscus died and Richard Crenna was still alive. <laughs> and, and he's with the finder of lost loves. No, that's Tony Francios, I think. Oh. Poser. Baby Jessica. Iron Man. I feel like some pineapple upside down cake. Okay, who am I now? Mussolini, right? Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh oh, Stoner cubed it. Come in. Hey, 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 he's touching him in the spacesuit area. Bad touch, bad touch. Hey, hey, that's my wallet. He's rolling me. Yeah, sometimes I like to sit out here and just. 
Just look at the stars and think. You're thinking what I'm thinking? I haven't had a single good scene yet. Please watch for me in McKenna's Gold and The Omen. <laughs> Iron Man 1, this is key. Do you really? You know, he even looks like a Russian, doesn't he? I smell a rat. A big commie rat. Oh. Shh. Just take a look. Isn't he cute when he's asleep? Hold on, he only takes unleaded, Mr. Russia. I would have done that, but our hoses are not compatible. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Long Street. I'm on Long Street. Pax, sit Pax. Oh. You know I was skeptical, but I like you guys. It's fun. Iron Man, do you read me? Cape, this is rescue. I'm in the Apollo. The Russian got some air to Stoney, and I've transferred him to my <laughs> His head looks like a gumball machine. <laughs> Stupid guy stranded right. in space. Head looks like a gumball machine. I've got a <coughs> Sorry. Hey, we're getting Woo! color TVs, everybody. Whoa! <laughs> a rap party right after strike. They're really immature, aren't they? Uh, uh, thank you. Don't touch me. I'm not really a party person. Look out, he's crazy. Mama, mama. We don't share whatever you say. Yeah, right, uh-huh. Me. Uh. Right in the storm house. Wait for yes, yes, yes. What a day. Yeah, Ralph, I'm going to take off. You guys lock up. I got my keys. Well, got to go. Got a date with a very special widow, Miss mm. Lee Grant, very lucky lady. Thank you. Thank you very much. Gregory Peck, ladies and gentlemen, Gregory Peck. Let's bring him out again. How about it? Nine, eight. Because they're seven, technicians, six, identical five, technicians. Oh, all the way. way. Pilot light. One. Ooh. Ooh. Gross. Kitty, Chuck. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Had a nice time. Well, you know, the Russians base their spaceship on scrubbing bubbles. <laughs> they do all the work so you don't have to. Nanu, Nanu. Ah. Oh, look, it this got all loggy, and they left the door open. This is more calling Olsen. More calling Olsen. Not that only. was a wonderful, powerful ending. I love this music. Like a circle in a spiral, like a wheel within a wheel, never ending. Whoa. Play the video game. Read the Bantam book. Soundtrack available on RSO Records, or hit the demo button on any Casio keyboard. <laughs> I think it's time to roll. Ooh. I'm John Palmer, and this is the NBC you Nightly News. Come with me. Absolutely. Hey, do you guys like having fun with uh, magic? Oh, sure. Or... We love having fun, and we like to be with others. What we know about others, which isn't much, considering we spent our lives locked in space with you. Now, what about this trick here, Lepetamine? Mm -hmm. I like dynamically changing people's lives through humorous skits and stories, Joel, and I'm not just saying that to be a kiss-up. Thanks, little itty buddy. Anyway, what we got here is a trick that involves these scale models of the control module. Cool. And these little, um, James Farron, James Franciscus action figures, okay? Ooh. Just put that in there like that. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is take, find the, it's called find the finder of lost loves, okay? And so uh, no, Joel, Joel, I, I don't mix wanna wreck your routine like... here, but the finder of lost loves was Tony Franciosa. Oh yeah? Yeah. Well, uh, where is the James Franciscus uh, action figure? It's simple, it's right there, right where you Oh, it. really? Yeah. I'm afraid that's the Tony Franciosa action figure, oh, find the wow, finder wow. of lost I know. loves, okay, hello, okay, there it is. Okay, it's okay, fun. I know where it is. I know. Okay. Okay, which one? Do, where, where's the uh, Where's the uh, James Franciscus? Uh, on the left, definitely on the left. Okay. I'm not wearing my underwear. No. 
<laughs> no, I'm sorry. Oh. That's the Ben Gazar oh, action yeah. figure. Bonk, it's bonk fun on to head. be fooled. Okay, finally. Okay, I'll buy Fruit Stripes gum. Turn over the middle one. No, I'm sorry. That one contains the James oh. Ferrantillo action figure, the Joseph Campanella action figure, and the Burl oh, Ives oh, action figure. Oh, the bold oh, ones. Oh, oh, stung again. Oh, all right, anyway, now let's do a few letters, you guys, okay? This first one, put that up on Still Store, is from Ooh, David wow. St. Albans. Artsy. He's from El Albuquerque, New Mexico. Albuquerque. And this is on camera granted, he says. Uh -huh. So that's good. Anyway, it says, uh, move over, pink boys. There's a new gang in town. And it's got us in clothes. Nice drawing. Yeah, they never it's quite good one. capture you, though, do they? No, well, he's close. Not bad. And then this one, here's this little photo collage they gave us. Oh, no, that's neat. And that's pretty good. And okay. that comes from uh, Matthew Fisher, who's 14, and, uh, and then Matthew Fiddler, his friend, who's also 15. Matt, Matt. And he writes, PPS, who designed Crow and Tom Servo? That would be me. You did? Uh, PPS, my friend and I would like to see more of Cambot on the show. That's impossible right over there. without a mere high buddy. Cambot. Hey, hey. And finally, PPPS, <laughs> where did you get Mexican stoplight candy? The answer to that is Mexico. Mexico. <laughs> That's right, pretty much. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh, oh. Hey. My hey, you better so watch out. Oh, he's gagging <laughs> quick. Oh, there. Oh. <laughs> what do you think, sir? Uh, 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 push the button, Frank. been a presentation from Comedy Central. Steve Martin hosts Saturday Night Live next. <laughs>